<laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god. Welcome back, you guys, for a most unexpected War Thunder first 10. That's right, it is the IS-7 heavy tank. And as you saw at the start, no, I did not grind it all the way out. I simply did not have the time on my work schedule for the entire Operation Summer Grind. So I reached out to Gaijin and asked them if I might be possible, if it might be possible for me to get a test drive when it came out. And they were very accommodating. And in fact, when I got home from work just uh, about 20 minutes ago, it was waiting for me uh, when I logged in. So I didn't even know I was gonna get it yet. So huge, huge thanks to Gaijin for uh, the test drive. And I'm very excited to bring you guys a uh, special weekend first 10, special edition. So uh, it is the 4th of August. I have got a 15% Lion and a 15% Research Booster. We've got Germany and Japan against us. They are shooting at us. I will return the fire. Such an unstabilized gun, it's hilarious. Uh oh. Look out, Vickers. Let's see how the reload is. This ought to be hilarious. <laughs> All right, how's that reload? It's not too bad, actually. Okay, well, my driver's knocked out, so I guess we'll return fire. Ah, oh, just missed him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't have parts, so. Oh, is he knocked out? I think they got him. I had to. I had to fire that one fast. Darn it! Lost my... Without the driver. Unfortunately, my driver didn't switch out fast enough. So, not the debut I hoped for, naturally. Of course. But, anyway, we'll see you in Battle 2. Alright, well, here's Battle 2. Uh, that map in Battle 1, that map layout is just... Eh, it's garbage. Anyway, I should have gone down into the city, but I was still kind of so blown away by the fact that I had the test drive already for this thing that I wasn't really thinking clearly, so my fault. Alright. America, Britain, and Japan against us. Well, we got Germany with us, so that's good. We gotta watch out. Gotta watch out for the L7 family of guns firing heat FS. That's gonna be dangerous to this thing, and they're gonna burn right through it. And if your driver gets knocked out, that's an issue. So my research is set to parts. Here's an x-ray of it, if you haven't already seen one from anybody else. I dropped my ammo down to 15, which uh, took some of it out, but not all of it. That's half the ammunition. Here's my 8.0 lineup for the IS-7, and we'll uh, see what else we can do here. Almost saw that coming. Thankfully, that wasn't my engine. Attack the B point. Well, this is uh, fantastic. So we'll just sit here and wait on a repair. Hopefully, I turned far enough. I think I did. Let's see if they're going to come up this way. Oh, come on. Of course they can hit me and I can't see him. I don't know what he hit me with. I hope it's not Heat FS or Hash. Come on, tank. Come on, crew. Finish repairing the thing. All right. Somebody at B, I can try to get to there. An M24 took out our Object 906. That's a uh, reversal of fortune. Still got a medium over at B. Jeez. You know what? I'm tired of you. God, come on! Good lord! I clicked the mouse fire button. 
Fire the dang thing and my breach is yellowed out. I hope it doesn't blow up and kill us. Can't see the guy at B. Oh god, switch, switch, switch. Great. Well, that's awesome. Yell it out, Breach. Now I need a capture point. And I don't have one. Oh my god. Look at this target right here. That's an M103 in front of me, I think. Oh, we hit a building. That's great. Oh god, back up faster, please. Unbelievable. This is fun. Well, they're taking both the caps on my side of the river, and there's just about no way I can cross that river, or the lake, I mean. And I don't suppose there's any way I can get around to the other side of the lake safely and repair this thing. This is not how I wanted the first two battles to go. It sucks not having parts. We're taking A. Oh, hello, airplane. Goodbye, airplane. Oh, can we actually take B? Or A. We took A. Good. Hurry to A. Fly to A. Go, IS-7, go. Fly to the A-point. With two crew members left. The maddening thing is, I clicked the fire button when I took the first hit that knocked out my turret crew. Come on, let's get to A. Let's get to A quickly. Oh my god, there's somebody behind us. Would love to be shooting him right now. But our team came through for me here and captured the A-point, so I can at least park and start repairing. Let's hope we can repair fast enough. Oh my god. I hope they just took this guy out that I just saw marked right here. And he's not just being marked. I think he's right up there. Alright, we're parking it behind this building and starting the repair. Please be a short repair. Well, hopefully we can finish this repair and then we can maybe actually get a shot at somebody and you guys can see if this was worth all the headaches and uh, trouble that you all went through to unlock the thing or you are still going through to unlock it. I know some people have already got it. Oh my god, unbelievable. And he shoots out my engine, and now I have to f repair. Thank you for killing him. Thank you. It's unbelievable. That. We should be reloaded. <laughs> he shoots out my engine and gives me another 30 seconds repairing. What a showcase. Just how I like my first tens here. I heard him. I heard the engine pull up behind me. Oh my god. Here we go. Now something killed our T-54 up there in the front lines, but I don't know what it was. What do we have left? There's not that many of them left. Oh, come on. Steer, please. See if we can find the guys at B. Nobody there. My god. Hello, bombs. I didn't see anything get marked, but an M163 took out our bomber. I didn't hear him firing. Well, the M163 is done. 
We got one, two, three left. I know one of them is pretty far to the uh, northwest, up where our T-54 got killed up here somewhere. So probably roughly there. I'm going to go and take the B point. Looks like we are on top of the sniper ridge, so that shouldn't be too hard to cap. Or I'll kill this STB-1 right behind me. I hope. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you, gun. Phew. All right. That's better. Already... Already happier about uh, the first 10. Two of them left. They said something's coming in an airplane. I don't see it, though. All right. That'll work. I'm going to stay near the B point. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go hunt down that other guy that I know should be up in the northwest. See, our T-54 got killed up here, but he didn't say anything about whatever it was that killed him. So... We're looking halfway decent for uh, surviving this battle. Not a guarantee yet. Oh, How about that? Somebody just got killed right here, so probably somebody up here. Let's see if we can find him. There's an airplane. Japanese plane. Let's see if we can spot that M60A1. Got a little bit of time left in this battle before the tickets bleed out. Not a guaranteed survive battle yet because that M60A1 could hit me with heat FS and my driver, and that'll be that. Let's see if we can determine where exactly he was with our uh, KPZ 47 not saying anything. Feed me some intel here. Info. Info would be good. No. Oh. All right, then. Well, okay. Things look uh, pretty good now, then. Just the airplane left. Okay. That seems like a done deal. Too bad I spent half the battle repairing. But at least I did get a kill finally and uh, even got a capture too, so. Too bad this battle's taking so long to wrap up. Go get him, 262. Yeah, he's the last one left. Somehow I end up in third place, which I guess is from all the shots, hits that I took. Because I was certainly pretty close to those guys, the initial guys that hit me. They were... That was probably battle activity quite a bit. But uh, you can survive some hits in it, that's for sure. Yeah, still just the one guy. All right, well, we'll see you all in battle three as soon as this one finally wraps up. <laughs> Pretty good uh, volume of fire from the direct front here. And that's with one of the machine guns knocked out. Look at that, that's insanity. But why can't I fire the rear machine guns? Interesting. Oh, well, probably that's, those are probably fired by the loaders, I bet. I'll have to try it in the beginning of the next battle. Okay, speaking of which, we'll see you in the next battle.
All right, here's battle three. It's going to be a slow one, but uh, I guess I do have the slight advantage of getting in close somewhere, hiding near our cap in these houses and waiting for them to come in near us, I suppose. So that'll be the plan here. Let's see what we've got. Not exactly going to hide much with the uh, gigantic machine gun on the roof, but that's okay. Just, uh, okay. There is no neutral steering, so you'll want to get it into gear. Now, real quickly, um, got the Germans against us. Should be Leopard, so we'll watch out for the wings for the start here. There should be, um, a link in the description to the Operation Summer event post for this, and also a link where, uh, Mike Goes Boom has gone through and figured out all the recipes for all the parts you need for the IS-7, so I will link that reddit post as well so you guys can track that and figure out all the uh all the ways to get all the parts to actually craft your own is7 if you guys are grinding it out i didn't go through all that of course because i just got this for a test drive so so i will uh find that link to that post and set you guys up with that for those of you who are uh actively grinding out all the parts and going through all the effort and the grind of Achieving your IS-7 the proper way, or even if you're wallet warrioring it, because you still have to put all the parts together. Congratulations to all of you who had the time and the willpower to actually go through with the uh, grind for this thing, too. I think you'll find it's worth it. Oops. Even if it can't break through houses. Alright, we'll push up a little bit here, although I do need to watch out by off to the wings, because that's probably where the leopards are going to be. You don't really want to get hit in the side with this, and you don't really want to get hit with heat FS at all. Okay, I think we got a target directly ahead here. Somebody just knocked a house down. Dos vidania, tovarish. All right. Sergey, reload. Tell Ivan to help you. Somebody marked out there. Uh, no, I'm not driving a T-114, actually. And again, I will just reiterate, if you want me to do a, uh, special premium vehicle, it doesn't hurt to buy it for me, and then I'll do a first 10 on it. <laughs> Was that our T-54 shooting, or was that something shooting at our T-54? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, please don't shoot at me and ping me for the enemy team. I'm not, I know it doesn't show up on the map, or at least I don't think it does, but... No, you don't have to draw their attention to me, either. With machine gun fire. That sounded like a 105. Let's go find it. That's a German machine gun. Heard it, I don't see it. Oh, we got a heavy up here. Interesting, a German heavy. That means somebody's either driving a mouse, most likely, or they're driving a, a Tiger II, probably at this battle rating. Let's see what we got. I love that somebody's using me as cover. It's great. Somebody marked back behind us. Whoops. Bump my mouse. Uh-oh. Enemy air. Lost, oh, P40s. Hitler bolt, there he is. A little more effort and victory will 
Come on, machine gun. I know you can reach. Well, that didn't exactly go where I wanted it to. I don't know where the guy is that was getting marked right there behind me, but I don't see any or hear anything anymore. See if we can cap them out here while watching out for. Oh boy. Okay, friendly enemy or, or friendly aircraft rather, not enemy. Aha! What do we got here? Is of target. Well, it was of target. Uh oh. Seriously, could you guys not shoot at me, please? Nice work, Donnie. Donnie giving the air cover that we need. That's hostile. I don't see him, but... Oh, poor Kugel Blitz. Why, why did you even fire? Why did you even draw attention to yourself, Google? That was silly. Let's check out the reload on the old big old machine guns here. Alright, Elizabeth, enough already. Obsessing over this thing. Save your ammo for them. Oh my god, troll it up further. Okay, yes, I have an IS-7. Big deal. It's a test drive. Get over it. Alright. What do we got here? Just one left. I don't know if we're even going to get this cap. Hopefully he's not in an airplane with bombs. That would be hilariously terrible. I think we're gonna pull off another survive battle victory here. Alright. See you in battle four. Goodness gracious. This may or may not be a beast. Imagine when the whole team has them and not just me. Alright, here's battle four. Two survived battles out of three so far, and honestly, the first battle, I chalk it up to the map more than anything. Now, it's a little premature to call this a, uh, you know, only gonna be good kind of first ten, but, uh, well, initial indications aren't too terrible. Let's see who we're fighting, though, because that does make a difference. Got the Germans with us again, and the French with us. Actually capping or no? Okay, he stopped. Anybody else coming? Nobody else is coming, boys. Let's do it. Kinda wish I could see now though. Let's stay for the cap, then I'll push forward a little bit. Alright, good. Stop right here. See if we can catch them pushing up the road. Yup. Alright. I... Alright. I can't believe he backed up. I can't believe he backed up. I also can't believe I didn't kill him, but... Can I get a shot into that? M48 or M60. Maybe. Yep, here we go. Well, I got his engine and his transmission. If he doesn't have FPE, we'll be alright. I'm 
interesting. Looks like he's got FP on that first guy, though, so. Alright. There we go. That's better. Reload isn't too terrible on this thing. Not at all. The reload is good. The, uh... Non-stabilized gun, obviously, is sort of a pain, but... The way the gun hits... I don't know where that came from. Alright, it came from that Chieftain Mark III right there, so that's unfortunate. Probably will be able to pick up an assist on the, um... You get my ammo? Yeah. Oh well. Thought we had some uh, good potential there, but we'll see in the next one. All right, this time we'll uh, drop down to well. How are we gonna drop down to B? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should go to B or not. I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna try it this time. This might. Hopefully, this isn't me making the same mistake twice in two different directions. We'll see if this uh, Object 906 doesn't get in front of me and block me off. Alright, this is Battle 5. I did end up getting an assist on the M48. It turns out it was an M48 in uh, Battle 4 there, so... Slight extra bit, and it turned out to be 25% research in Battle 4 as well, because there was a team 10% research booster on, so... That's cool. We ended up winning pretty handily. I went on a rampage with my Type 62 that may or may not be bonus footage for this first 10. I'm probably, I'm leaning towards not wasting time with bonus footage in an effort to get this video out as quickly as possible today. And I've got the T62 M1 and eventually the uh, BMP1 with the better missiles and the uh, T64 BV still yet to do first 10s on for the Soviets. So, it's not like I'm going to be out of first 10s to do for the Soviet Union tanks here before too long. So, we'll, uh, I was going to bump him in the back, but I didn't want to actually cause any damage to him. Just in case goofy collision physics made his uh, tracks break on the fence or anything. It's not like I'm going to run out of first 10s to do for the uh, Soviet tree anytime soon. So, plenty of, plenty of chances to use up bonus footage on a... First 10 when uh, time is not so much of an issue as it would be for getting this first 10 out. This is one of those ones where I'm going to upload this thing as soon as I possibly can. Well, trees are an issue for it. Let's see how we uh, can accelerate in a straight line on a paved road. I'm blocking off. Well, I'm blocking a T10 who probably is actually faster than me. I'll try to get out of his way as quickly as I can here. I can move for being a stock tank and totally unspaded gift tank. Can move fairly well. Let's see if we can. Uh, that's a good place to capture this point from. Oh, right here looks good. Make sure we're not vulnerable from that side. Look like we're okay right here. Anybody up by the... Well, I can't hit them if they are. Alright. That's a good start. Let's uh, see if we can catch him in the side of A. It's a pretty likely place. It was America and Britain, I believe? Yes, it is. Alright. We got some up there. We have at least one at A. I assume we haven't killed him yet if our team isn't recapturing the point. Any snipers up on this hill? Usually there's one or two. I don't see any at the moment. How many they got left? Okay. Not even close to the end of the battle yet. Alright, Chief Din just took out our Object 906. He's probably on the sniper hill to my left, so we'll... Be a little patient here as we hold two of the caps. Okay, let's take a take a quick assessment of the situation to our right at A. All right, they're taking C, so we can't wait forever. What's up with A, fellas? Why are we not taking A back? Boy, 
What, what are we doing? What are we doing over here at A, fellas? We've got it surrounded, but nobody's moving in to take it. There we go. Target in sight. I don't even feel bad. I was going... Oh, there's another one right behind him. Hang on a minute. Let's make sure we aim this one high enough. Non-penetration. Aoki dokey. T10 got him. Yeah, T10 got him. Too bad I don't get an assist on him. So I was worried about that shot shell dropping too much like the uh, first shot last battle, and I ended up firing it too high. That's disappointing. I guess I can trust my uh, trust my shell trajectory a little better at shorter ranges, but that's okay. Now, I'm not going to drive up to their spawn, but let's see if we can spot anybody peeking. Ooh. Okay, let's worry about this guy. Where is he? Alright, Chieftain took out our Su-122. Back inside the cap at A, so we'll back off just a minute. Aha! There's one. Got somebody marked over at A. We'll hold back on him. The guy forward to our left isn't a big threat to me at the very moment. More worried about this guy up here who I don't know where he is. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll uh we'll deal with this guy who actually is now a bigger threat to me. Hang on, Amex 30. Hang on, man. Okay, that works too. My help not needed, I will help you with this guy. Or the T10 will get him. That also works. Okay, good work, guys. That's not good. That doesn't sound good at all. Got one scouted out there. I can sort of see him. It's another chieftain. He's got to be able to see my gun. My coax. Oh, dear. He's not going to be foolish enough to keep driving. Yes, he is. And I shot too low. Gotta get used to this gun's trajectory. That's my fault. That's totally my fault on the ballistics there. Okay, well, here's time to make up for it. There. Phew! I feel better now. Oh, thank goodness. And again! Okay, I am totally... Not angry at all that I end up with an assist there. That looks like somebody up by that barn, doesn't it? I think. Nope, it's another barn. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, here's battle six. Uh, after the first five battles... So far, I would say it's worth it if you made the effort to go through the grind for it. Considering it's a stock tank, I think it's doing just fine. Uh, the shell drop is actually something considerable. That's something that's taking a little bit of getting used to. So I'm kind of laughing about that a bit. Uh, longer ranges, it's definitely worth probably uh, taking a range find on and seeing if you can calculate it. Am I doing vids? Nah, I just, I got an IS-7 the day the IS-7 came out, and I'm just playing it for kicks. <laughs> the day a gigantic grind vehicle comes out, you think I'm not recording it? Come on, man. All right, let's see who we're fighting, uh, since I need to actually pay attention this time. Okay. Interesting. All right, if you're subscribed, then you really should know that I'm definitely recording it, because you should know that I'm always recording. Anyway, 
Let's see what we can find here. There's, um... As far as what it cost me, it cost me years of my life in getting into the content creator program, so... That's what it cost me. Oh dear. That's not good. Well. Oh, there he is. Can't see him. Come on, come on, come on. He's got to be shooting APFSDS. Uh, this is not great. As long as I take damage and it's not something that stops my mobility, I can get in and cap the A point, but uh, I don't want to move forward for the A point yet. Got a little bit of help coming behind me. I don't want to look and see what it is. Let's get a mark on this guy. Attention to the designated grid square. Definitely don't want to provide that kind of an angle on the uh, for the Type 74. Woo, good thing I was backing up there. I assume that might have been the Type 74 that just fired that. Yep, that's... Uh, that's an M103. We'll back off of him. Alright, we're going to back off and reassess the situation here. There went the breach. Okay, well, now we're going to cap A. Ah, uh, there we go. Yep. Anybody not see that coming? Camper's paradise on this map. It is just camper's paradise on this map. Camper's paradise. Credit to them, they stayed hidden until they could shoot me. Because they knew I was sitting there watching their spot. Camper's paradise. Well, here's Battle 7, and... Pretty high on the list of maps I didn't want to see again for this first 10 is Sands of Sinai. So that's fun. Glad we got the same exact map again, and this time it's even worse of an objective, but we'll see what happens. I don't know if I should just go up into the mountains like the rest of my team of Mujahideen in the last battle, or if I should go this way, or what. Who are we fighting? Germany and Japan. That's great. It's an 8.0, so we shouldn't be seeing a team of Type 90s and 2A4s coming at us, so that's nice. But uh, it's not exactly... Not exactly beautiful matchmaking either. Um... Alright, I don't really mind my team going that way right now. That's, uh, not too bad. But, uh, we'll see how this develops. We've got a lot less of our team going up into the hills than last battle, so th this could turn out okay. Obviously, they're going to be up in the hills. You really gotta say it in all chat. Don't see him. Whatever. I mean, just, you really gotta blow it in all chat? I mean, everybody's gonna be looking for it and focusing on it now. I mean, they were gonna see it before too long, but... We don't have to let them know. Whatever. Anyway. Looks like they're probably heading for the opening here. Or they see me and they're shooting artillery at me. Or maybe they didn't see me. And they're just shooting artillery at the most likely approach. I don't know. That was probably like a Panzer II H or something, I bet, as fast as that capped. Oh. Or it was an MKPZ-47. Well, gang, I don't like this map, so we're going to risk it. Here we go. Well, it was worth the risk, I think, although, uh, oh well, I didn't want to play that map, honestly.
All right, this is battle number eight. Uh, I think I'll press B. I believe is what I'm gonna do. Um, I was considering either C or A, but I don't really want to give up my side. C is awfully hard to get back up the hill. And uh, A, I get shot in the side from people at B. Oh, children. Anyway, uh, let's see what we've got here. America, Britain, and Japan again, so not terribly surprising. Got Germany with us. Oh, a bunch more players just joined, okay. It's uh, reasonably all right for hill climbing. I'm sure when it's spaded, it'll actually move along probably pretty similar to a T10. It's got a... Uh, naval diesel engine, so it should move along pretty quickly. The biggest problem is going to be, I think, that periscope you got. I can actually, as you can see, it's a test drive, but it let me decorate it, so I will actually be able to put bushes on the thing after the test drive is over, or I mean, after the first 10 is over. I don't put bushes on first 10 tanks just for the sake of trying to play it as if it were someone have, who has it stock and doesn't have any bushes, just so you can kind of see how detectable the vehicle is. After the first tens are over, I put bushes on them because I have some bushes and you might as well break up your silhouette and camouflage things, I guess, if you have it. All the bushes I have, I got from uh, war bomb chests, actually, so I didn't even pay for them. Just got them by playing the game. So I will see if I can get some uh, camouflage up to hopefully partially mask that gigantic pedestal with the 14.5 on the roof there. Don't know if I'm going to make it in for the cap. One of our 906s went around the cap, which isn't a terrible thing. I don't know if the other one is going to start. Yeah, the other one's going to start capping. I might make it there in time, but I don't know. I would like to get the cap for the sake of research. I am, after all, still grinding towards my T62 M1, so the uh, test drive for this was rather perfect. It's going to be so close. It's going to be so close. Oh, ho ho Look at that. The biggest benefit there is SP. If I were to get killed here, I'd be able to come back in something else. All right, let's see if we can uh, spot any of these enemies coming up here. Too bad they took out that M48. That's all right. I'll see if I can deal with the heavy. Nice work, 906. 906 is 906 is doing some work. It's almost like that tank is ridiculously OP. He just killed four tanks in a row. Five. Apparently he killed five. Good God. I don't blame him for saying LOL. The Magok got him. I don't know where the Magok is. Probably up there. But what an insane run that 906 just had. Talk about OP tanks. Glad I got the cap here, though. Just back it up into the, back it up into the cap. I'm sure our uh, 90, my 906 squad mate is gonna, okay. Probably come back in an airplane and deal with that Magoth, I would imagine. Falcon down. Okay, we got a couple scouted. Good work, fellow. Other, not fellow, but other 906. All right, we've got targets scouted. I'll see what I can do to deal with them. I think they were scouted. Here's somebody firing machine guns up there, but I don't quite see them. Let's not quite go sideways to them. 
Reverse is actually not bad at all. There we go. Okay, got him in sight. Now, the big question here is, do I go flying in at them at their sniper hill? It's not the world's smartest idea, but for the sake of the first ten... Well, first we're going to shoot this guy. Did he run away behind the hill? No, I guess it's not actually a tank there. Okay. I missed where that spot was. Okay, that is an enemy. Alright, it's an SPAA. There we go. There's one. Oh boy. Falcon. Just back it off slightly. I did see some uh, turrets over this hill right here, so... Charging up is not a great idea. I've actually got the gun depression right here, so we'll just sit here with this gun depression and call it good. This is not bad at all. I can't quite see them. But if they start pushing up... This is actually a much better spot than I anticipated finding up here. Cut some trees down. Well, we got a T92 somewhere. That's not good. He could scout me. I'm not sure where exactly he just killed our guy. Attention to the map. Okay. Aww. I don't know that I actually would have been able to see him. All right, we still got that Falcon up here. Oh see him at the moment. Oh no. Friendly air, thankfully. Alright, a couple of them have been knocked out. Falcon just took out our LA-200. I want to deal with the M-103 right over here. That's the threat I'm most worried about. I'm not worried about the Falcon except for him shooting at my gun barrel and or either blinding me or just marking me by hitting me. That's what I'm most concerned with right now. There's the Maga. Not a lot of gun depression here, but... Uh, where the 103 go? Okay, there's one. Hello, comrade. that falcon run off to I wonder all right I think I was sufficiently patient on the uh, sniper hill I'm gonna see if that swing fire is still in the river Oop. hang on a minute oh god shot right over him again that's totally Totally my fault for just over-anticipating the drop. Yikes. Try to find that swing player out in the river. Not where I want to be. Oof. Definitely not where I want to be here, but... Uh, just trying to get away from their spawn to spot that swing fire in the river and put some rounds at him. Oh, he's dead. All right. I wonder if there's more than one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Woo! Close ones. Very close ones. Oh! Well, I can't... I gotta deal with this guy. Or not. I had his side shot, and then I missed it. Anybody wants to give me, uh... Some help here, that would be nice. I've got his side exposed to you guys. None of you are near him, are ya? Oh, 
actually I meant meant that one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, fellas. Get the guns up. Get the guns up! And there we go. Now they kill him. <laughs> Isn't that just perfect? <sighs> Isn't that just perfect? Oh well. Well, here we are at Battle 9. That was a pretty sweet little hull down position I had there, I gotta say. Yes, please turn right in front of me. That's beautiful. That's just what everybody wants. <laughs> you should have just kept going. Now I have to worry about this M22 beating me to the cap and starting the cap without the rest of the team getting there. Hopefully that's not what he's going for, but... If he solo caps and then Jay's out and gets into a plane, I'm going to be very disappointed. Anyway, that hull down position I had uh, on Curse, that was pretty sweet. Let's hope this guy waits a day because it doesn't look like he's going to. It would have made sense for him to go flying for C. He's not waiting. God. He's gonna solo jack the first cap on an uncontestable point. Unbelievable. That's teamwork for you right there, guys. That's that is unbelievable. One player gets a cap on this map. Look at how much of our team was heading to the cap. One player gets a cap. Germany and Japan on the other team. I don't know that that M46 actually cost me getting to the cap, but I think it probably didn't help. At least the M22 didn't immediately J out, I suppose. Come on, IS-7. Let's get there. Come on. Get in there, baby. Alright, well, we got one anyway. Oh, so tempting to pin this guy against the wall. That's amazing. That was artillery. No, it probably wasn't actually artillery. Doesn't matter, the breach is gone. I don't know if it was actually the artillery or not. Doesn't really matter. Well, we'll see you in Battle 10. Eventually we're gonna burn out. There we go. What a disappointing battle. Don't be that M22, please. On non-contestable caps, please don't be that M22. PSA. Well, gang, here we are in battle number 10. We're going around the back side of the ridge here. It's Conquest. I'm not charging into the point. We'll let our uh, fast boys do that. If they want to get around me and head for it. Alright. There we go. Okay, stop staring at me and stare where you're driving. Go scout enemies and I'll shoot them.
<laughs> That's funny. All right. Battle 10, here we go. Let's see if we can finish out Strunk. Strunk. So I had a request previously for the loudest Ura I could produce in a video on YouTube, so... Ura! There you go. That's the best you're gonna get. Oh god, we're silhouetted. Do not want to be silhouetted. Come on, get off, get off, get off the hill. Alright. We got Japan and Germany with us against America and Britain. Alright. Wanna... Definitely want to stay down a little bit here. All right, definitely don't want to be silhouetted up on the uh, above the military crest of the hill there because this thing with that Teletubby machine gun, as they're saying, is going to be way up high. It's got to be real careful about that. It's like a submarine periscope. All right. If you find the right spot, you can get reasonably hulled down. It doesn't have very good gun depression at all. But there are a few places where you can get decently hulled down. Nice work, Bagel Panzer. Alright. Any other IS-7s? I am it. Let's see. Kind of counting on you, 906, to get up there ahead of me. Swing fire. That ah, could be an issue. Uh, let me go through these trees right here alongside our Type 61. Comrade Japan Type 61 here. We got one highlighted out past A. Let's see if we can do anything about that. They're definitely going to see us coming. not highlighted anymore. There's a T-92 right there. I don't have the gun depression, but let's see if we can get up where we get a shot at him. Measuring range. Too slowly. More than a thousand, it says. Imagine that. It was worth a shot. Whoops, that I didn't want to do. Thankfully, the reload on this is actually really fast. Okay. Got a break there. We're out of here. Gonna back down around here. There's a good look at the front of it with the sunlight. Oh, thank you. Type 61. But uh, I'm still. Oh, hopefully, he was just defending him. Yeah, he was just defending himself. Sorry, I'd love to help you repair, but uh, I don't have parts and you're out of my squad anyway. see what we can do here. We, we lost our 906 up in front. I didn't see when he got killed, so I'm not sure if he got up too far ahead. Or what happened there. Hey, we're on A. That's good, though. Okay. Got it. It's good work. Now let's try and defend him. Alright, we'd like to get more than one shot off here. Good. Other rest of the team is moving up with me. At least some of them are. I'm going to hold it right here and watch for guys up there on that other hill because it's very likely that there will be some. And there's somebody shooting him. Oh, there's a target right there. Lobbing fire. Total guess. Don't even know if he was even still where I could hit him. I don't think he was. Okay, what shot at me? From where? Oh, 
there he is. That's oh, a T95, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna guess uh, that's friendly. That's friendly artillery. guys. It's cute. Friendly artillery. Real cute. Ooh. A target. Don't know if the T-95V1 can hurt me. Apparently not. See you though, comrade. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Woof! Survive that one. Uh, we're gonna have to be careful here now. We are definitely, definitely position compromised. I should relocate. A little short. Should have shot the. Uh, T95, where is he? Where did he end up? Okay, he's down. XM1 is down there. Okay, there's the T95. Attention to the map. Let's see if we can get a good shot on him. We've got the hull down for it. We've got the gun depression. There he is. Ooh, he is toast. T62 got him. Any more targets anywhere? Yep, there's one. Am I gonna get a shot at him though? Come on, forward. Forward, IS 7. Ah, oh, come on. Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Got his breach. Good. Nice. I-15R. If you can strafe in front of him, that'd be great, because he's probably going to have his gun fixed by the time I get up here. Oh, come on! God! Well. Thank you, T-62, because I wasn't going to get him otherwise. Now we wait for the repair forever. Repairing. And then we'll head up to where we can see A, I guess. Boy, that airplane really wanted me dead. Let's keep the on. Can't fix the breach, so we're gonna have to go into A. Still a few of them left, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna have to get turned around. Luckily, I should be able to get turned around down the hill. Get a little bit of forward momentum and then turn down the hill. Of course, I'm basically turned right the wrong, wrong direction. All right, forward, get some speed, turn down the hill to get turned around. Come on. Come on, stay in third gear. All right, there we go, and up we go, and there's another airplane coming. Let 
Here we go. He's coming right for me. It's got to be the same guy. And they're in A. Beautiful. He's coming directly for me. It's a Welly. Oh my god, it's a Wellington. Wish I had my main gun. They're taking A and none of our team is anywhere near it, but we got this guy up here, though. There's multiples on A. Oh, that's... Is that a... Wellington, or is that a uh, Halifax? No, it's a Welly. I can't shoot at him, though. I have no gun barrel. Not good. Well, the Welly's down because the 163 crashed into him. That plane didn't do me any favors, that's for sure. And hopefully, there were two that cap for sure. Let's hope I can get up here and go after the A point. Hopefully, distract the other guy that's there. If I can get up this hill now, my goodness. Okay, here we go. There he is. Yeah, it's a chieftain. It's a chieftain, I marked him. Best I could do. Oh god, look out, see what under P. Be swell if the other guy up there comes down to where he can see the T-62. Comes there again. Ah! Get him. Get him. Yes. There you go. Finish him. Thank you. Oh my god. Where? What happened to our other guy there? There he is. Finish him, please. Please finish him. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, this uh, is going to be quite a long first 10. I've been slowly piecing together the edit as I've gone to save time because I'm well past when I should have gone to sleep. God, enemy air again. And uh, I know how long the first 10 already is. Thank goodness. And this battle's taking quite a while as well. Great. I have. Ah, oh, just over my guns. I have no anti air capability. Because my rooftop machine gun is long gone with my poor coffin for three brothers there. Uh, hope he doesn't have any actual ground ordnance. Doesn't look like he does. Oh god, we're back in business. Look at that. And our T-62 all the way up north is knocked out. What a shock. How many are left? Good god! 
60 seconds? Yeah, we're gonna relocate, so we're pointed towards the battle more. Getting straight now. Come on, give me them guns! Give me those guns! Shot right under him, but at least I threw up some dirt in front of him. Thank goodness for the auto loader assist on this thing. Hey, look at that, we win. My goodness, okay. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so we'll get the final thoughts here in just a moment. What a heck of a battle that last one was. Not too bad, I guess. All right, look at that, I finished parts in the 10th battle. Okay, well, since we finished parts, let's uh, see what we can get for the next research here. So there's your battle 10 results. And we'll do the final thoughts here. Tracks or horizontal drive? I guess the tracks would be... Oh, I literally got just my research? Okay. Well, so be it. All right. So, final thoughts for the IS-7 Operation Summer 2018 8.0 Battle Rating Heavy Tank. Um... If you guys went through the effort of grinding out this 130 millimeter naval gun, naval diesel engine heavy beast with eight machine guns on it, two 14.5s in the front, and about six 7.62s, well, I think you probably spent your time or your money relatively wisely enough. I think it's going to be a pretty good tank. If you throw a talisman on this thing, it's going to be pretty close to being a premium, so... Not too bad. I, I'm, again, very appreciative of Gaijin for giving me the test drive. So thank you once again, Thule, for the test drive. I really, really appreciate it. I simply did not have the time to go through all the uh, grinding it was going to take. I wish I did. I would have much rather earned the tank, but I suppose I got into the content creator program by putting in work. So I, I earned it in a roundabout way. At least that's the way I see it. Anyway, um... Watch out for that shell drop. That's a that's the biggest thing. Once you get used to the ballistics on it, it's really, really dangerous for sure. And what a pain in the butt it is to not have parts. But other than that, um, with a 15% research booster and uh, a couple of team 10% research boosters, I actually got parts done in the first 10 battles. So I'm going to get this edited now and uh, wrap this up before this video gets any longer. We'll see you guys soon for more War Thunder. And I'd like to thank you all very much for stopping by and checking this one out. And uh, have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. Take care, and thanks for stopping by.